How's it going everyone? Mana Spider here bringing another episode in the Pokemon TCG series. And today we are going to be taking a look at the Entei deck. It's going to be a first impressions and I'm going to try out a few games with it and really see how this deck performs. Now I've played against it quite a number of times but these are going to be my first games with actually using the deck. So I just picked up the deck and let's take a look at all the cards in it and yeah see what I think of them. So starting off with Hound Door. Draw a card for each Hound Door in play. Interesting. And then Flare. Meh. Hound Doom. Nasty Plot. Search your deck for a card and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. That's always great. An attack operation. If you have more cards in your hand than your opponent, this takes 80 more damage. For 130 damage, that's actually really good. 130 damage is a sweet spot, so that's fantastic. So only two energy. Nice. Shackle. Fresh squeezed. Fresh squeezed. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may search your deck for up to three basic energy cards and then discard them, then shuffle your deck. Energy drink, attach two basic energy cards from the discard pile to your Pokemon in any way you like. Okay. Singe, flip a coin, if heads your opponent's actual Pokemon is now burned. Eh. Combuscan, natural cure, whenever you attach an energy card from your hand to this Pokemon, remove all special conditions from it. Eh. Lunge, flip a coin, if tails attack does nothing. Uh, I'm not liking Combuscan much. And then Blaziken, fire starter. 150 HP, so decently tanky. Once during your turn before you attack, you may attach a fire energy card from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. All right, that's where the shackle, shackle comes in. Fire stream, discard a fire energy from this Pokemon. This attack does 20 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. I always love hitting my opponent's bench, so I like that. Heracross. Tackle and powerful friends. If you have any stage two Pokemon on your bench, this attack does 90 more damage for 120 damage. Decent, decent. Entei, here we go, let's see. Fire Fang, your opponent's Pokemon is now burned. Nice. And Eruption, each player discards the top card of their deck. This attack does 60 more damage for each energy card discarded this way. Nice, so it can do up to 200 damage, which is fantastic. Um, I like that. Smeagol, yay. Slugma, Stampede, and Flamethrower, eh. Yeah. But here's Makaga, which I know is fantastic. Smooth over. Once during your turn before you attack, you may search your deck for a card, shuffle your deck, and then put that card on top of it. That's the way to really get Entei off. And, ooh, Big Malasala. Heal 20 damage and remove a special condition from your active Pokemon. Eh. Yeah. Ultra Ball, always good. Talon Ball, always good. Switch, always happy to see that. Nest Ball, yes. Stretcher, yes. TV Reporter. Draw three cards, then discard a card from your hand. If you have no cards in your deck, you can't play this card. Eh, okay. Titan Lisa, always happy to see. Sightseer. You may discard any number of cards from your hand, then draw cards until you have five cards in your hand. Okay. Not bad. Um, that works. Pokemon Fan Club. Mallow. Search your deck for two cards, shuffle your deck, then put those cards on top in any order. Okay, that's quite nice. Hey, got Guzma, nice. Switch one of your opponent's active po uh, bench Pokemon with your active Pokemon. If you do so, switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. Always like seeing Guzma. Prof, okay, Kahuli. I like this deck. Okay, let's see what we can do. Um, overall, I don't like slow decks in the current meta. Slow decks are not good because basically Charizard deck is a problem. Um, and typically your aggro decks tend to perform better. So let's go, Blazing Volcano. Let's see how we do. So I'd like to play at least three games with this deck and let's see how it goes. Um, I, I hope it can do well. I think it's definitely got some potential. Um, things like Guzma, ways to hit your opponent's bench is always useful. Uh, it's a fire type deck, which is always good. Um, it's There are a lot of water type decks in the current meta pool, basically, which is always a concern playing a fire type deck um, as we come up against one. But hey, let's see how it goes. I think I can still win this with this deck. Do I want to go first or second? Um, I think I want to go second, actually. I think I want to go second because there's a lot of supporter cards. Yeah, I'm, I'm, eh. That's not, I'm not terribly excited about this. The Hound Door is actually interesting with Team Hunt because I'll be drawing two cards. Um, but Smeargle, I'll be able to get one of my opponent's cards. Uh, let's go for the Smeargle, I think. It's a bit more of a passive starter as well, which is quite nice, because I don't have any energies. Which is most certainly a concern for me right now. 
um, I would be very happy if these two rescue stretches were into energy cards. Because this is a problem for me. Basically, if I don't draw energy now, I'm in serious trouble. So let's see. I'm in serious trouble. Huh. This is not good. So let's get these three out of there. Um, that's awkward. Not having energies is very awkward. As I've just lost a lot of momentum now. Hmm. Man, I need energy right now. This is frustrating. This is really frustrating. Am I seriously going to be hit with surprise first? I've never seen anyone use this attack. That's literally the first time I've seen that attack. Where are my energies? Oh, this is frustrating me. It's not a good start for this deck. Man. I hate when this happens. Like a first impression, and this is not a good first impression of this deck. Let's see. Let's go for paper this time. Did I win? Oh, no, I lost that as well. My opponent went for scissors. Uh, let's go for Shuckle. If I manage to draw Grass Energy right now... Oh, man, come on! Like... <laughs> what is happening? Uh, Blaziken... Let's see... Okay. Next turn at least I can finally get Firestarter going. So there's that. I guess. But it's not enough. I don't even have more cards in my hand, so I can't even make use of Handoom. Oh man. That's not fair. Ah, oh, This is game. This is so game. Oh, man. Hey, I got an energy. What a shock. Um... I don't even know what to do right now. Um, like, I want a Guzma, but at the same time, there's not much point guzma -ing. I think this is just game. Uh, let's go into Kyogre. Let's go into Houndoom. At this point, it's just game. Uh, Pokemon Stretcher. Let's... Let's bring back Torchic. Let's play Torchic. Let's go for Nazi Plot. And let's put a Combuscan on top of my deck. Oh, that was stupid. I should put a energy in my hand. Oh, come on. Really? Really? So this deck didn't work. I'm actually just going to yield right here. Because there's no point. Um, I don't like conceding, but I'm just going to be wasting the next 20 minutes. So, let's go into game 2. That was really bad, and that was a terrible first impression for this deck. Um, but it's one of those things when you don't draw energy for the first 4 turns. It's uh, There's not many decks out there that's going to come back from that. Um, Ah oh, man, if that first opening hand just had one energy, it would have been worthwhile. And I would be able to get like get on board. Okay, uh, let's try that again. Uh, we're going against the Towering Heights deck, which is interesting. That's a surprising stash from my opponent, but okay. <laughs> we'll call 14. Um, I do want to go second. I think this deck works better going second. Um... I 
don't think this deck wants me to like it. And I don't know why. I don't know what I've done to insult this deck. But I really want it to perform. And it seems like it just hates me. I take two mulligans. Oh, lovely. So let's go for Smeagol. At least I can get Smeagol off this time. To be fair, I can't Pokemon Fan Club, so it's actually not that bad. Um, my energies are pretty sourced for this. Wow, okay. Um, I thought I... I thought I was going second. Did I misclick? Thought I was going second. That's weird. Huh. That's very weird. I really thought I was going second. Okay. Anyway. Um, yeah, that's really weird. Anyway, uh, I'm only going to get one stunning likeness off, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, with Pokemon Fan Club, let's bring out a Torchic, and let's bring out a... I'm tempted to go and enter to try it out. Um, I think Torchic's a smart play. Because I've already got a Combuscan. And I think... I do think Entei is a smart player here. Let's go into Entei. I don't, I don't know if it's the right play. But I do like it. I actually have gone Shuckle. Come to think of it. Um, Lunge me deals 60 damage. That's so pointless. Let's go and get Entei online rather. Uh, let's go for Stunning Likeness. Let's see what we get. Hey, we've got a Tatanisa that we can't use. Actually, we can use it. Do I want to use it? I got a free swap into Entei, which is actually not bad. Yeah, I'm actually okay with that. Um, yeah, free swap into Entei. And my opponent doesn't get a prize card? I'm okay with that, actually. It's not terrible, but it's not great either. Um, hmm. Okay, I guess I can go into Fire Fang next turn, which is not bad. Problem is my opponent's going to retreat and then Thrall's going to just destroy my life. Which is unfortunate. Um, hmm. Do I want Intel to drop? Entei's just going to drop if I let that happen. Swap out his back into Smeargle. Get another energy down to Entei. And let's get some Stunning Likeness off. Hey, let's go for Bug Catcher. Our opponent's got two switches in their hands and a Seismitoad. What? Come on, Bug Catcher. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, that's actually not terrible. I've got Blaze again at least. Don't tell me my opponent now gets Bug Catcher off. Okay, good. <laughs> I was going to say, they can't get Bug Catcher off if I steal it from them and don't get it. Um, this is going very slowly, which I don't like. I don't like one bit. And the problem is now, I know my opponent's not going to have an energy on top of their deck. Because they just moved with a Seismitoad, and they would have been... Not very intelligent if they didn't do that. Because you can see Entei is coming. Okay. So let's get this there. Let's get this there. Let's get um, fire starter online. Okay, um, may as well play Lily. There's no reason not to. Okay, there's a torchic that's actually quite nice. Um, let's time a ball. This. What do we get? Okay, I can get him a cargo because what I can do is I can bring out a slugma with nest ball. And then let's nest ball. Let's bring on a slugma. Okay. Let's go for eruption. And I really hope we get lucky here. 
Wow, I put, actually put an energy there. Huh. Okay. Um. I'm not too sure why. Okay, I'm really not too sure why why my opponent put an energy on top of their deck. Unless they didn't know what Entei did. Okay. Yeah, that, that makes no sense to me. Because next turn I can now guarantee I've got an energy on the top of my deck. Which means I'm going to be dealing 140 damage. Which will knock out Groudon. So why did I put Groudon there? What is my opponent doing? Because whatever they put there, I'm going to get away with the Eruption. So is they putting a card there they want in their discard pile? I'm very confused right now. But anyway, okay. Let's get my cargo down. Let's get ourselves... Oh, wait. There's no energy, there's no energy there that I can use. Um, I'm going to use Smooth Over to guarantee that I have an energy on top. I would like a grass energy on top. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, I actually should use Professor first because now I don't want to do Professor. Damn, that was stupid of me. Okay, we're learning. We're learning. Use Professor first and then use that. Okay, um, let's get a uh, hand all down just in case. And now let's go for Eruption, which is guaranteed to get the KO. Cool. Okay. The text there, shuckle, great, super late for that. Um, now there's no way I'll get the KO, but I'm scared because that means that the um, not Gabite, uh, what's the last form called? Oh man, Garchomp. Garchomp's coming in next turn, which is going to be unfortunate because I know my opponent does have one. But now I might actually hold off on using Professor because of that. I got nothing that's not. Oh hit KO, oh hit KO Garchomp though, and Fire Stream can't hit my opponent's bench. Interesting. This is actually interesting because what I can do is I can use Guzman to drag out the Mew, and then I can hit their bench, but that makes the throw powerful. Which I don't know if I want to do. My other, other options are not as great. I actually quite like that option because then Entei can come in and deal with whatever comes in. Huh, interesting. Okay, I actually like that option. Discard a fire energy from this Pokemon, this deck is. Okay, I'm gonna put that there. Let's use Guzma. I would like to f hit their Mew, please. And I would like to hit them with Blaziken. Okay. Um, then I'd like to use my cargo's thing to smooth over to make sure I have a fire energy for next turn because do I want anything else? I'm going to be taking 120 damage so I'm going to survive the hit so I have 30 HP left um, it's not going to make a difference for that uh, do I want a hound door? Not really. What do I have for replacing energies? Not much. Um, hmm. I don't know what the best thing is to get from this, actually. So let's, what, what do I want to draw? I want to draw something that gives me energy. And I guess I can start working on another Blaziken. Because I'm going to lose, I'm going to lose energies eventually. So we go for a Combuskin. Okay, then let's go for Blaziken's Fire Stream. And let's... Why couldn't I? It takes like 20 damage to each of you. Oh, because it happens at the same time. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. Garchomp is going to come in and hit like a ton of bricks, unfortunately. But I will be able to get the KO with Entei on the next turn. Which is okay. Hopefully, get the knockout with Blaziken. Because unfortunately, this overslices. If you have more prior squad remaining than your opponent, this attack does 80 more damage. So, yeah, I'm going to be hit, being hit by 160 damage. So, unfortunately, Blaziken is going to go down. 
and hopefully intake and get the KO. I need both to be, oh, I'm not gonna get it because I need both to be energies. Okay. Hmm. Actually, no, I can use Professor to guarantee them that I'll get the KO. That's okay, I can use Professor to get the KO. All right, so let's put that there. Um, first, we need to use the Professor to get the damage buff. Now to use the Professor to get the damage buff, we can use Macargo to put the energy on top. Uh, let's put fire energy on top. So the eruption is guaranteed to get the kill now on Garchomp, the KO on Garchomp. Um, I would like to start charging up the Combuskin. And I think that's everything I can do for now. So let's go for eruption. Let's get ourselves the KO for just enough damage. And I'm going to be seeing a Thrall now. Oh, I got the fire energy. I'm okay with that. Okay. Um, now I need a Blaziken. The problem is I can't really get a Blaziken because of Eruption going to carry on knocking out the top card. Unless I go for a Fire Fang. But it doesn't, it doesn't make sense losing momentum for that Blaziken maybe draw. So let's see. Search deck for two cards, shuffle your deck, and then put those cards on top in any order. That will actually get me what I need to do. So I can put the first card as my energy and my second card as Blaziken. And draw three cards and discard a card from your hand. No, the cards from deck can't play this card. Okay, I don't really need that. Okay, this works. Matter next turn. Energy and then Blaziken. And make sure I actually get in, in that order. Um, oh, my opponent yielded. Okay. Don't think it was that dire, but all right. Cool, I got our first win of the deck. Huh. It's a little bit slow, but it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun, but it's on the slow side, which I don't appreciate at all. Um, but let's see. It's definitely got potential, and it's definitely fun, which I like. That is an awesome outfit, or however you say your name. Yukbini. Yukbini? I don't know. Um, okay, let's see. I lost the coin flips, which means I'm not choosing. So I go against Soaring Skies, which is a tough matchup, because Soaring Skies definitely is one of the better decks. And once again, I have a mulligan. That's great. So my opponent should be going first. Um, that's quite frustrating. So that would be okay if there was a Grass Energy. Oh, but no, that doesn't actually help me because I don't get the ability of the Shuckle. Yeah, this is awkward. Cool. So, um, <laughs> Nest Ball into Torchic. Let's get Torchic down. Um, let's go for an energy onto Torchic because Shuckle can't use it. And let's go for Lily. Okay, that's better. We're getting there. A nest ball into Houndor. This is looking good so far. Uh, the lack of a grass energy is a slight problem in this plan. Um, but we should be okay. My opponent didn't like their hand, apparently. Huh. Now, it'd be really cool if we get a way to get rid of the Shuckle. I could really do with a switch right now. Because that'll really help me. Huh. Otherwise, Shuckle. Okay, I went to Grammar, so they're getting draw advantage going. That makes complete sense. And they know I'm not going to be able to get any damage off anytime soon. So I basically, I need to retreat the Shuckle as soon as possible. Uh, that's not what I want to see at all. Um, I have to charge up this handle. And I'm hoping like attack operation or something will be quite ha helpful. I'm going to go into it next turn. Next turn. And nasty plot. Most likely a 
um, evolution uh, magmar. And then at least I can fix my draws, which will go a long way to making this viable. Um, the charge up lantern is always an issue. But there's not much I can do about that. So let's get that down. Let's retreat this shuckle. Let's go into Handor. Handoom, sorry. Let's use Firestarter to put an energy onto Blaziken. And let's use Nazi Plot. I need something for lots of draw. What gives me the most draw? Um, let's see. Professor's always nice. Cards in your hand, then draw cards until you have five cards in your hand. That'll get me really good draw next turn. I'll draw four cards off of that. Because I don't mind losing my hand. The thing is, I don't mind losing my hand, actually. So, Tate and Lisa. Actually, no, Sightseer makes sense. Because I'm getting four draws off of it. I keep forgetting Nazi Plot puts it in your hand on top of your deck. I need to remember that. Um. I'll be really okay with an energy right now for attack operation. Unfortunately, I don't have more cards than my opponent. I don't think that's ever going to happen. But let's see. Let's drop that from Combus. Uh, let's drop. Actually, no. I'd rather keep the big. Uh, I'd rather keep Combuskin. Let's drop the big Masalada. Oh wow, Copycat right now is great. Um, I wouldn't mind using Nasty Plot to bring out the Macargo, and then I can start going for damage. Um, but I feel like I need to get that. This I need to get on the board. Hmm. Let me see now. Um. I think let me use Nazi Pot one more time to get my car my cargo. Oh no! Are they both? Sorry about that. Oh, they're both prize cards. I didn't even look earlier. That's frustrating. That is very frustrating. Then, what I want is an Ente. Actually, what I want is a Torchic. That's frustrating. That's very frustrating. Okay. Dragonite's online, which is always scary. Lantern's basically online. And Thunderous is basically online. Um, I need to get this pressure going. I've taken way too long to get on the board. Okay, interesting. Uh, I've got 150 HP with Blaziken. Okay. Basically, my opponent has three energies in their hand. I should be very concerned. If not, I should be okay. So let's retreat this now into this Blaziken. Let's drop Torchic. I'm not actually going to copycat this turn, I don't think. Um, let's Firestarter. Let's get Entei online. Let's carry on getting Entei online. And... I'm actually... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to copycat. I think it makes more sense. I'm hoping to get at least one energy back. Okay, this is that was worth it. Time ball can go down, which means I get nothing. Yay! I always like it when that happens. Let's go for fire stream. Cool. Oh, that's not an option. I didn't realize that. I thought there was an option. It's discard. I thought I read you may discard. Okay, that's interesting. Um. Okay. Ah, oh, does my opponent have three energies in their hand? I really hope not. Aw, oh, come on. Don't be mean. Sorry about that. Man, that's frustrating. Okay, well, there goes plays again. Uh, nothing to do about it, unfortunately. 
Um, moving forward, at least I do have Entei. Clown Doom is getting a bit better now because I've actually got more energies. I have more cards in my hand than my opponent. I'm wishing I put the energy. I wish I put the energy there now. So let's go into Entei. And let's get that eruption off. I'm really wishing I put that energy now on Han Doom, which is a bit frustrating. Ah, sorry, my phone's going crazy. Um, yeah, let's put that energy there. Let's get Professor off right now. There's Blaze again. Now I see the Combuskin, which unfortunately I shuffled away. Should have waited a turn. Um, I might as well get another Han door down. I can go into Han Doom very soon. Let's get Eruption off. Dropped by the Entei, which is unfortunate. And I didn't get any energies, which is definitely unfortunate. Uh, let's see now. So I threw my phone on quiet. There we go. Sorry, I don't know why my phone wasn't in silent. Um, I presume my opponent won't have three more energies. Or won't be willing to attach three more energies. So I'm expecting to see this Tornadus come in next turn. Really? Really now? Okay. I was about to say. That is very frustrating because Lantern will just one-shot my Entei with Lightning Strike. Huh. My opponent keeps bringing out answers to everything I do. Which is a problem. So I think I need to stabilize the Shuckle. Which I never thought I'd be saying. Put that energy there. Let's drop Mellow. And I really want to see Combuskin right now. And after Combuskin, none of these help me. Mm. I think Guzma. Guzma is always good to have. Um. Yeah, I like, having, I like having options with Guzma. Okay, then we can use Energy Drink. And we can grab these two energies. And we can charge up Handoom. Which is quite cool. And then from there on, we can start charging up the Torchic. I wonder what opponent's going to retreat this Lantern this turn. It'll suck if they do. Because then I should have charged up the Torchic instead. Oh, they didn't. Yay. That's exciting. Let's go there. And let's put this energy... How many do I have left here? I've still got four. So I can use two to put there. And then Blazer can put one on itself anyway. That's okay. So this can start going on to Houndoom. And then I can use Energy Drink. To charge up two more energies onto what will be Blaziken. Okay, this is looking good. Um, what comes in next? I think my next thing is Houndoom. I don't want to wait too much longer. So now let's retreat this out into Houndoom. Let's use Firestarter to bring energy back there. Let's put this other energy onto Houndoom. And I don't really want to give my opponent a free switch. But at the same time, oh, it's not going to knock out. It's going to drop him down to. I'm not going to be able to get the KO. I should have gone Blaziken. That was stupid of me. Um. I think I actually will still do that. Let's use Guzma. That was a mistake on my side. Um, I want to shut down. Uh, let's shut down this Chinchao. 
and I want to go into there. And let's get Blaziken off. Cool. I presume they're going to go into, not into Tornadus now. But let's see. And I need I need one more fire stream to go off, to be able to get the KO on Dragonite, which would be a nice bonus. Yeah, there we go. Um, oh, uh, yeah, it's not, gonna get, it's not gonna get a KO. Yeah, it's not gonna get a KO this turn, I don't think. So that's nice. I'm gonna get a double KO this turn as well, which will put actually I'll get a triple KO this turn. Never gotten that before. That'd be quite cool. Because on my turn now, if I get an attack off on this Thunderous, I'll kill Thunderous, I'll knock out Thunderous, knock out Pidgey, and knock out Dragonite. As it stands right now. It'll be super cool. Never done that before. I like that. Let's see if that goes off. I'll be very happy with that. Um, yeah, that, that's not very surprising there. Huh. So what do we do next up? We've basically got to rely on these Hound Dooms to somehow close this game. Okay, I was going to say, where is that energy going? Raging Thunder. We've got 30 HP left, which is unfortunate, but it's enough to get one more attack off. Um, which actually puts me in a really good spot. Oh no, you stole my triple KO. How dare you? Ah, oh, that is rude. So disappointed by that. Um, let's use Pokemon Stretcher to bring back Torchic so that I can get another a Blaziken online. Let's play Torchic. Let's use Smooth Over to not put a Combuskin because I'm an idiot and I forgot I got no Combuskins left. Which means I actually need to put Pokemon Stretcher back so I can shuffle those back into my deck because I'm an idiot. Cool, let's do that. Do I really have two Combuskins in here? Oh, uh, Melbourne's a prize card. Okay, anyway. Um, will I ever go into my cargo? I don't think so. Okay, let's go Fire Stream. Nice. Double KO. My opponent's got one prize card left. I presume they're gonna go into that Tornadus. Nope. And... Oh. Really? <laughs> That's frustrating. That's okay. Um, oh, my opponent actually yielded. This deck's quite fun to play. Uh, it's very slow, which is quite frustrating. But it's quite fun. That's quite fun. I'm really annoyed my opponent stole my 3KO. Uh, I've never had it before, I really wanted it, but hey. It happens. Okay. Not bad. We won for one with this deck. Our second game was definitely a lot better. Um, ah, I've got enough Poke Points now to buy my next deck. So, looking at this deck, it functions quite well. Getting Blaziken is definitely awesome with this deck. Cool. Going to Laser Focus. Void Z. Void Z. I like that. So, let's call this. Ah, uh, lost the coin flip. Yay. I presume my opponent's gonna go first. Yeah, my opponent went first. Let's see if we can get this game with Ad Mulligan. Nope. Three games, four Mulligans technically. So hey, one day I'll play this deck and not have to Mulligan. One day. This is actually pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm actually okay with this. Okay, because I can go team hunt to get two draws out, which is quite cool. I like this. And Shock can put some energy card from a discard pile, which is always quite nice with fresh squeeze. Okay, I like this. Okay, uh, putting the charisma, no big surprise right there. Time of ball, that's very nice. Okay, let's drop Shuckle first. Uh, yes, I like to discard some energies. Two and one, I think is a better way of doing it. Okay, let's get a Tama Ball out. And... I'm 
I'm worried about the Crows on the back line. But I think Han Doom makes the most sense still. I don't know if I'm gonna evolve this one. I might involve my second my second one instead, but let's see. Team hunt, what do we draw? Okay, that's decent. The problem comes in is I'm not gonna have more cards in my hand than my opponent. So I'm not gonna be able to get attack operation off. And yeah, my opponent's gonna be charging up in a cross on the back line. Oh, they have to switch. Okay, barrier attack. Um, Handor, that one's definitely going down, so I'm gonna evolve this one. Um, yeah, I'm losing a draw, which is quite irritating. Or I can use Nasty Plot to put something in my hand that I really want there. I'm actually okay with that. It's a random draw compared to getting exactly what I want. Let's go into this end tape. And Lily to get some draws. And let's get a nest ball out to bring out a Torchic. Two five, two five. Okay, attack operation wouldn't have done anything then. Let's Nazi plot this for a Blaziken. Okay. This this is looking better. Um, it was a bit of a rocky start, and even this Entei is going to be a bit hit and miss, I think. Um, my opponent's definitely on the front foot, which is a bit scary. I'm really only going to come online in like two turns, which is not great. Interesting, I wonder if other Necrozma is a prize card. Yeah, barrier attack, oh not barrier attack, sorry, special laser. That gets the KO, which means I can now go into Entei and get a burn damage off. Okay. Um, uh, I drew a Torch check. Don't you love it when that happens? No, let me just get this energy down before I forget. Let's go for Professor. Well, that's actually pretty cool. That's actually really cool. Uh, let's go for Firefang. So if I don't get knocked out this turn, I can knock out Necrozma. Unfortunately about the burn, but hey. I would have liked the burn damage to continue, just for fun. Because the Sylvalli is going to come in and destroy my life, unfortunately. And how am I going to deal with that? Other than Blaziken. Because now, here comes the thing, if I use the Eruption, I have to, I have to use, do I have to use Eruption though? I have to use Eruption. It's a bit frustrating because I would have liked to not have to use Eruption because I would have liked to put the energy there. Um, how many energies do I have here? That Shuckle is actually looking really nice right now. As a way to put energies back. Um, that's actually quite interesting. Let's use fire starter and let's bring that up. And then, yeah, eruption. There's nothing better I can do. I might actually go out into into shockle next turn. I know I'm giving my, giving my opponent a prize card, but. I'll be able to actually charge up properly. The question comes in, do I want to hold off on the stretcher for my Blaziken to go down, or do I want to bring stretcher out to get Entei back online? So Entei hits hard. Entei hits very hard. So I think bring, bringing Entei back next turn makes more sense. Bring Shuckle out now to get all those energies back. Um, let's put that there. Let's go for fire starter. On to Blaziken. What's T reported to do? Draw three cards and discard a card from your hand. If you know cards in your hand, you can't play this card. Okay, let's go for this. 
I uh, would like to bring back Ente. Uh, let's put Ente back on our bench. Let's draw some cards. Uh, I don't want Smeagol in my life right now. Smeagol can go away. And let's go for energy drink. One, two, fire energies. Let's go one on Blaziken. And let's go one on Ente. So I, I know that Chuckle's going to go down next turn and I gave my opponent a prize card. But I'm now going to have an online Blaziken, which is quite nice. Um... I maybe should have gone into Entei first to get the KO. I don't see them getting a knockout. Unless I'm missing something. Okay. Uh, ooh, Pokemon Family. I'm very much okay with that. So let's go, I don't need another Torchic, but I wouldn't mind another Entei, and I wouldn't mind a Slugma. I've only got one Macargo in my deck, which means one is in my prize pool. A bit frustrating, but anyway. I'm glad to have a second Entei on board, which is always good. Entei online, let's get that Slugma down. Let's get a Fire Starter off. Let's put that onto Entei. Let's get that onto Entei. And yeah, let's bomb this. Okay, let's see, what does my opponent do next? I presume my opponent goes for that Berserker Tackle. Berserker Tackle actually knocks, him, knocks it out. But my opponent can't deal 150 damage to me. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure they don't want Blaziken to be sitting around. Let's see. Giving us that damage over Tauros, they're giving away a prize card. I, I don't know if that was a good play, but I don't know if I had a better play. Yeah, I don't know if I had a better play. Um, That's actually huge, getting a second player that can online. TV reporter quickly. Um, I don't know if I need grass energy, so that can go away. We're dealing 120 damage, so even if I heal, that's not going to make a difference. But I can switch into Entei, and I might be able to get a KO if one of these is an energy, which I think is a good gamble. I can then save Blaziken for a later date. So let's fire starter up. My second Blaziken. Let's fire starter up. Which is quite cool. I can still play an energy this turn, so let's play an energy on a fresh Blaziken. Let's go Tama Ball into my cargo, which guarantees me the energy. Um, wow, my last evolution Pokemon, cool. So this guarantees that the top card is an energy, which guarantees I get a KO this turn. I'm liking this deck. You have to think to play it, but I like that. I like this a lot. Uh, I don't need. Oh, my opponent yielded. I'm liking this deck. It's not brainless. Like, you actually have to think about what your plays are going to be. I'm liking this a lot. Uh, I'm going to give it one more game. We're two for one. And, yeah, I think let's jump into one more. Basically because I don't like sitting on 409 points when 410 is, my, is what I need. So, let's jump into one more with this Blazing Volcano. Is this the best deck in the world? No. But is it a fun deck to play? Most certainly. I like decks that make you think. Um, they get boring when they're just straightforward and you just go one, 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 one after each other. And I like when you have to think. And I think that's why I like this older theme deck challenge as well, is the older decks tend to be not as good as the newer ones, which means you're playing from behind, which makes you have to think. So going up against the, my <laughs> the pain of my life, this Charizard deck. Um, if ever there was a test for this deck, this is probably going to be it. So I want to see if I can get another game off with this deck against this and really see if we can do better. Um, I'm confident. 
I, I think I can win this. Let's see, Mulligan? Hey! Every single game I've had a Mulligan. Who would have guessed? <laughs> As I said in my previous videos, you've got to learn to just enjoy the game, <laughs> whether you're winning or you're losing. And when bad things happen, sometimes you got to laugh. And that's four games now. <laughs> Three Mulligans. <laughs> that's four games now where I've had to Mulligan. Um, to say this is a bad start, Oh man, honestly all I can hope for, like, so right now if I happen to draw a shuckle on my first turn, this actually ends up being a really good opening hand. Because I can then Guzma into shuckle, and then charge up an Entei, and then tur my turn to retreat out Entei and just start stomping my opponent. But that all hinges on getting shuckle out this turn, and I don't. Who would have guessed? So, how are we going to solve this? Let's go for... Mallow actually makes a lot of sense because I can guarantee drawing Shuckle next turn. Because currently I can't do anything with Entei. But I can do a lot with Shuckle. But I really want to drop this Nidoran very quickly. But I still think that's the better way of doing it. So let's go for... Oh. Wait, let's do Ultra Ball first. So at least I can have something on the board. Let's go for Ultra Ball first. Let's drop this and let's drop... Uh, copycat? I don't really want to drop Copycat, but I kind of need to right now. Let's drop those two. And I can actually... Oh, you got to be kidding. I so bad need Shuckle right now, and it's a prize card. Oh man, you gotta be joking. Okay, well, Smeagol, I guess it's you, my friend. The one time! The one time! Oh my word. What are the chances? Do I want a copycat right now? I think I do want a copycat right now. Oh my word. <sighs> to be fair, my hand's pretty good right now, right? Like, th this is a pretty sweet hand. Um, uh, that does suck. A lot. Um... Mm. Lucky for my opponent there. Oh man, I can't believe that the one time I desperately needed Shuckle was a prize card. Oh. What am I going to do? I need, I basically need Entei to come online last turn. Um. So I'm definitely going to Tail Smash and hopefully I get lucky. Let's get Slugma down. Um, let me go all out. Let's do a Professor and let me see if I get super, super lucky. Uh, can I, put, I can't, they can't actually knock me out if I use that big Molasada. Oh wait, they can. Yeah, Agility still knocks me out. Sorry, I was miscounting there. I thought this healed 30. Um, let's start charging up Entei because right now it's my only hope. And let's go for Tail Smash, and hopefully we get super lucky. And who knows? We don't. Who could have guessed that? Um, okay. Next up is gonna be Entei. He's gonna take so much damage. Okay, does my opponent's agility go off? Because if it does, Oh, I don't want to go into Entei, but I'm going to have to. Okay, let's get Makargo out. Let's use Makargo to smooth over and put Torchic there. 
so that I can draw Torchic. I can play Torchic. I can put an energy on Entei. Should put a grass energy there, but anyway. And Fire Fang. And I'll just hope that burn sticks. Damn. That's frustrating. Okay. Um, next up, we're going to still use Makago to bring out um, Combuscan next turn. I start moving into Combuscan. And hopefully my opponent doesn't get agility off again. My opponent doesn't have another queen out just yet, touch a wood. Uh, let's see if I spoke too soon. If another queen comes out now, I'm in serious trouble. That's good. Okay. Ah! Damn it. Uh, let's see. So, buy myself some time on Entei. Um, let's use Smooth Over to bring out Combuskin with TV Reporter. Get out draw cards. Um, let's drop this Grass Energy. It's too late for that now. Let's get that Combuskin down. There's no point in me putting the energy there this turn. So let's start loading up that Blaziken. Let's get Hound Door down for Hound Doom the, uh, the following turn. And hey, let's Fire Fang for absolutely no reason. Other than because I can. Okay, so as long as my opponent doesn't draw Nether Queens, I'm in a good position. The second my opponent draws Nether Queen, I'm in serious trouble. So right now I'm hoping they're prize cards. They're not. Um, and this is game, basically. Yeah, this is game. Because now Nidoqueen Queen to evolve the other one, and now comes just the cascade of evolution Pokemon. So this was a very slow start, and I wasn't able to come online quick enough. Um, it's not over yet. It's certainly not over yet. But I need to get rid of this Rapidash, and they keep getting the agility off, which is super frustrating. Um, things, even if I, pres if I pres preserve Entei by switching out, I've got no. Oh man, I've got no energies there. Um, Hmm. I don't know what to do right now. I don't think I need Pokemon Family right now. Ah, oh, I should actually check that Hound Door. That's worse. Let's get Torchic down. I'm actually thinking of retreating Entei into Hound Doom. Just buy me some time. It's not ideal, but hey. We use Firestarter now to charge up. There. I can use this to get a nasty plot off. There's no Pokemon there I want. Uh, I don't want to play this right now. In terms of my next... Ah, uh, but... Ah, uh, nasty plot overrides this. Nasty plot's going to override it. That's frustrating. Switch deck for a card and put it on top. Okay, what, what do I want? Um... I definitely want Combuscan, but a Tower Ball works wonders right now if I get super lucky with it. My hand... Sightseer I like as well, because I can drop to 5 and keep stuff that I want. Tower Ball right now might make more sense. I'm gonna go for Sightseer. Because I want to draw Mechanic for next turn. <sighs> Problem is, this Charizard's gonna be coming in super soon. I need my opponent to fail in agility so badly right now. <sighs> if they get another agility off, 
I don't know what I'm gonna do. Hmm. If they get agility off, I honestly I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um That's super, super frustrating right now. I should've gone for an escape rope with an arty plot. Yes, I'm playing. Why is it doing this to me? Let's drop that. Let's drop that. I should've played this energy first. That was such a mistake. Got a Combuskin, which is huge. Lily next turn, which is quite nice. Let's get this fire starter off. Over there. Um, let's start trying to come back again. Uh, there's no point in me using smooth over because nasty plot. I'm just getting what I want. So we nasty plot this and let's bring up laser gun. I'd love for my opponent to actually fail agility for once. This has been a serious problem. So far behind now, it's too late. Ah, uh, it's so irritating. My opponent got three agilities off. Oh well. Um, there's a reason I raid this deck top. I definitely should have gone for escape rope earlier. I feel like that was a bit of a mistake on my side. But yeah, even if I did, I don't think it would have made a difference because I wouldn't have a second Blaziken then. Oh come on! Again! That's four in a row. What the actual, what are the actual chances of that happening? Let's drop that. Um, may as well use Lily. The thing is, even if I swap out, it doesn't really matter because I can't get a KO. Entei is my only chance of a KO. Let me do it. Let me put Guzma there just so I have him. Oh, I don't have Guzma. Lovely. I don't have an escape rope, so I got no way of doing that. Never mind. Um, then what I want is a fresh Ento. This is very frustrating. Um, there's nothing I can do. Yeah, it's. I really do hate agility when there's no answer for it, and unfortunately, I don't have an answer for it. So my opponents just had free reign to do whatever they want because I can't actually get past this Rapidash. Ah, oh, it's irritating. So irritating. Finally they failed. So I can actually get an attack off for the first time in I don't know how long. Let's get that there. Let's switch out. Into Blaziken. Um, I actually should have gone into Entei. Oh, but I don't have energies here. Fire stream. Oh, I forgot to play an energy. That is a huge problem because I desperately need that energy down there. Oh man, that was a big mistake. I thought that was fire starter for some reason. I wasn't reading. Man, I'm making too many mistakes today. Oh, oh, I don't know how I can come back from this. Cause like I'm gonna get damage off with these Blazikins, but I don't know if it's enough. Like I need, um, I need to somehow deal with both these Charizards. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. My opponent's got four prize cards. Those four prize cards basically need to be my Blaziken, my Blaziken, my Ente, my Ente. Yeah, my opponent's being clever as well. Ah, man, this is a really frustrating game with that agility. We just ruined it. 
Okay, let's get that going. I'm behind with this Ente, which is a problem, but anyway. Fire starter, Ente. Let's get that Ente going again. Um, in terms of smooth over, um, Mm. I could take Tate and Lisa as a, so I can have a switch just in case. Got nothing else to really do. Um, I can go to Torchic. Maybe I can get us Blazik and Art again, but I doubt that. And let's go for Fire Stream. Okay, let's see. What does my opponent do next? Entei will at least be able to get a KO next turn. Um, my opponent needs to play in it, but my opponent actually can't use the search. My opponent needs to swap out this Charizard. Please don't have a switch in your hand. Like, you've gotten so lucky this game. Please, please tell me you don't have a switch as well. That would be so disappointing. Okay, doesn't look like I have a switch just yet. Um... Because the thing is, my opponent can't swap out. Because Roaring Resolve knocks itself out. Which means they come out into Charizard. <laughs> Bug. This ball, exactly what I need in my life right now. Uh, do they have an energy in their hand? If they don't, I'm actually very happy. If they do, that sucks. A lot. So I'd love to be able to get a second. I'd love to get a, a Blaziken off again somehow. Oh wait, why don't I having energy in their hand? They've got two energies on the out already. Sorry. I don't know what I was thinking there. Okay. Um, be able to get Entei out. I should have actually searched Blue Combuscon down for this Torchic. Not a Tate and Lisa, that was silly. Let's get Eruption off. None of this I already need. Are both my combuscans here? I've got two combuscans. I don't know if there's anything I can actually draw that's better than what I have here right now. Um, let's use Macargo. Let's bring out the stretcher. Yeah, there's nothing here that would help me. Oh, that was dumb. That was so dumb. Wait, no, it doesn't matter. It's enough damage. Oh, it's not enough damage. Oh, that was so dumb of me. I'm actually going to use Tatanisa because of, I need to hopefully get... I forgot I needed an energy on top. Oh, I'm making so many mistakes right now. Um, let's go for eruption. Hopefully I get lucky with an energy. Oh, I would have been fine either way. But yeah, there's no way I could have known that. The problem is now my opponent's down to two prize cards and I have no way of getting this Entei online soon enough. That's game, unfortunately. Because now the power Larry is gonna walk over me. That was a very frustrating game with that, those agilities. Because uh, I lost four turns of attack, which put me so far behind. Ah. Oh well, it happens. It's a 50-50 chance my opponent got super lucky. Uh, I don't know what the chance, that's like a 5% chance of getting, of getting that off. Um, but hey. Um, let's just singe, because why not? What do we get? We get nothing. <sighs> Been a really unlucky game. Nope, no singe either. Apparently I can't get a coin flip this game and apparently I can't get any draws. Wow, the coin- the, I actually lost this game to coin flip. Which is super irritating. But hey, it happens. Um, I'm still happy with this deck, I had a lot of fun. Bit of a bad game, never nice ending on a bad game. But hey, at least I finally got enough cash to buy a new deck. So... Uh, jumping in, I don't think we're going to play another game with this Blazing Volcano. And the main reason for that is I'm super excited to play this Swamp Boat deck. 
Sorry, I got like hiccups. Um, let's see now. So I've got enough Pokey points for another deck. I've now got the entire deck, which means I can go and pick up this Swampert deck next, which I think is going to be a lot of fun. I'm super excited for it. I actually think I own this deck. I'll have to double check that. Um, but I'm keen for the Swampert deck. I think it'll be fun. And yeah, that's what's going to happen next. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Cheers. Enjoy.